All right, we're going to use the car class for one last video here. We're going to show you something about the car class, and it's going to be what happens when you print out Bob. So you just do something like that. Now, keep in mind what's happening when you actually do this. You're creating a reference called Bob. Bob has the ability to point in memory to a car. And the memory address that Bob is set equal to is the address of a new car. And so Bob is a memory address. So watch what happens when I go system out print line Bob. You get a memory address printed out. And it's nice enough to tell you, hey, it's a car at memory address 1A1A7AA4. Don't concern yourself with that stuff, but you know that is the memory address of the variable Bob. If you were to make another car print out its memory address, I mean we can try running this a second time. Different memory address. Run it again. Different memory address. Now there's one thing you can do so that when you print out Bob, instead of this memory address being printed out, you can actually decide on some custom printout to take place. So here's how we do that. You go to the car class and there's a method that's actually inside of every car already. You didn't write it, but it is there hidden and it's called public string to string. Now you'll see what this method does. It's called to string and it returns back a string. So I'm expected to send something back. So for instance, I could say return hi. Now we'll change this in a minute, but here's the gist of it. From this point forward, if I ever go system out and it's a car reference like Bob, it's actually going to run this method to string. So when I go to do this, print out Bob, the output of this will be whatever string is returned by the two string method. Okay, it just happens automatically. It's built sort of into Java right now. Okay, that's what it does. So you have the option whether to write this method in your class or not, but it's a nice idea to write it so you just don't get the plain old memory address. Now every time I print out a card, it's going to say hi. So just to prove it's working, let's just give this a quick run. And there you go. It prints out hi. Now in reality, what do you really want it to print out? You probably just don't want it to print out hi. You want it to print out any information that a programmer might find useful about your car. So let's go back to car. What would be useful? Well, I could do a couple things. I could say return car. And I could say let's add in the license plate and then say position is position, speed is speed. And let's get one more space bar there. So this is my own little custom two string method that sends back a string. And there's that string I'm sending back. And that's sort of nice because if somebody is trying to debug their program, Anytime they want, they can just go system out and name the car. And now it'll do something. Let's make this a little more interesting here. 995. And now it prints out this. So you can see here it prints out, oh, it's a car. License plate. Position is 99. Speed is 5. And that's exactly what those variables are. So it's a nice little debugging tool you could use in your program. Okay. The... Uh, to string method when you add that in there. Okay, so it's a nice little one that we end the car class with. So what we've done now is we've sort of scratched the surface on classes using this car class. Um, we have to do a lot more work to learn everything you can do with all these methods and variables and classes and public-private, but it's a good little start. Thanks for watching.